we are taking the show on the road and traveling to Tuscany. Coming up with creations that stand the test of time. Salute! Is a time-honored tradition in this rustic region, where old world ways are a way of life. A food and wine countryside that is seasoned with experience and peppered with personality. La Costata La Fiorentina, buon appetito! E ricordatevi sempre, tu beef or not to beef! <laughs> Tuscany's culture and cuisine have been emulated all over the world, but copycats can't come close to capturing the essence of Italy that here comes oh so naturally. Wine is all about people. It's who makes it, who grows it, and who you share it with. And that seems to be a really key focus here in Italy. You can't get any closer to the target of what wine and food is supposed to be. And here it's just so natural. We don't have that cultural heritage in the U.S., whereas here it overflows. And to be able to connect to that a little bit, even if you're not Italian, is a special thing. We're here in Chianti Classico to introduce you to some amazing winemakers and show you what it's like to truly experience Chianti Classico. In this experience, we have 10 days to discover the elegance of Sangiovese, the grape typical of Chianti Classico, and also a particular wine, Vinsanto, a sweet wine that you taste at the end of the meal. So we have a tasting of wine, tasting of food, a show food with interesting chef. And then we have many occasions to taste wine in different convent, churches and villages. It's nice to taste a wine in the history, like now. You gotta look at what we've done these few days. We've been served some of the greatest wines in the world by a Marchese. In fact, the great, great, great grandson of Philip Mate, who taught Thomas Jefferson how to plant grapes at Monticello. How cool is that? Today we're sitting in a 16th century monastery judging foods cooked to us by various housewives of the great cities of Tuscany and drinking fabulous wines. What else do you want out of life? This is as good as it gets. Getting a chance to get up close and personal with real life royalty and hometown heroes. Today we have, uh, it's a party day for Lamole because uh, we the producer of Lamole, we are, you know, family, state, so small producer. Uh, we are all together here and to promote our wine, to promote our place. So we are doing here a very nice wine festival. I would imagine a lot of folks in uh, the United States might not be that familiar with Lamole. What would be something you would want them to know? Yes, uh, um, it, it is true because we are, you know, we are just seven producers. Lamole is one of the places where the Chianti Classico is born. So here we have a very, very long tradition. For example, my, my family owned this estate since 6020, I'm the 11th generation. And uh, many other of my colleagues are very very old in this sense. This is uh, my message for the United States. Please be friendly with Lamole and try to find our bottle because uh, it's a special terroir, different from the other. On a hill hidden behind defensive walls, you'll find a medieval municipality dating back to the 9th century. Today, Rada and Chianti is a place to wine and dine and, of course, get your fill of Chianti Classico. The reserve is done with Sangiovese, but we prefer to age the wine in big barrel, not barrique, because we are very high, 600 meters. So it's our philosophy is not to give too much taste of oak and valina to the Sangiovese. If someone's never had Chianti Classico, what would you tell them about it? They confuse the Chianti with the Chianti Classico, first of all. And the Chianti is a wine that has to be drink every day, easily. It has to be nice, and I believe that it's better to have a older vintage. Sometimes they are too young, so we serve a 2007 Reserva because the aging gets the wine smoother and more pleasant. We're in Rada in Chianti. What do you think so far? It's beautiful and the wines are wonderful. What brought you here? Just the, the scenery and just uh, six friends sharing a villa. Uh -huh. And we're sightseeing around all of Tuscany. We've been to the major cities, Siena, we're going to Florence. We've been to Castellina, Rada, Greve, Graoli. All the small village towns, it's beautiful. Salute! Classico! 
Attracting travelers from across the universe, Tuscany's beauty and charm defy description. Although some have tried to sum it up with the saying, La Dolce Vita. But for Italians, the sweet life is more than a Fellini film. They really know where their culture comes from. It's a celebration of family and community. Then the wine just goes with all of that. Well, it's funny that in English we use the French term joie de vivre, which means the joy of living. Because in fact, the French don't have joie de vivre the way the Italians do. And that's what really makes Italy so wonderful. If you look around us today, everyone is eating together in this huge courtyard, drinking the fabulous wines and tasting foods made by their mothers, their sisters, their aunts. That's fabulous. I wish we could do this in America. Parlo uh, italiano e mi piace this trip. Here, the sweet life is simply a way of life.